Today's meeting at the UK Parliament related to the seventh anniversary of the uprising in Bahrain and really in relation to the human rights violations that have, have occurred in relation to it. Uh, we've heard uh, testimonies in relation to torture and some pretty grim things and your cutaway is coming now. Yes, the uh, Those who took part spoke about uh, some of their reflections of, uh, of the human rights situation and what I concentrated on on behalf of the Rights Realization Center was the deprivation of citizenship. Now since 2012 when 30 individuals in November of that year, November of 2012, when uh, since the 30 of them have had their citizenship uh, taken away from them arbitrarily by the by the government, a further you know 500 some odd, 540 perhaps, have likewise had their citizenship taken away from them, a number of whom have uh, been expelled, forcibly expelled from the country. And the reason why I raise that today is because at the, uh, the end of January, in the very beginning, early of February, uh, eight individuals, two brothers, uh, members of one family, and a man's wife and so on, they were forcibly expelled to, to Iraq. And it is a reminder that this issue is not going away anytime soon. They are forcibly expelling individuals. In the same month, that is to say in January, a further 47 individuals had their citizenship taken away from them in a, a, by decree, as in line with Article 10C of the Bahraini Law and Citizenship. And then, in another case, 25. So it's... It's, 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 it, it, it's advancing, it's progressing, and so on and so forth. And it's something that we feel that the international human rights community needs to pay more attention to, needs to be engaged upon, because uh, the fear that I expressed in my, in my talk today is that, look, where does it end? Does it end where the Rohingya have got to where mass deprivation of citizenship ends in, in, in something very serious indeed, uh, or does it go some way uh, towards, say, the Dominican Republic model, where there's been a, a, a sort of a tsunami wave of racism that has resulted in the deprivation of citizenship of, 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 of hundreds, if not thousands, of individuals. And neither situation uh, is good. The situation in Bahrain is not good. This anniversary is an opportunity to, to, to look again at that situation, to reassess, to reevaluate, to come back and re-engage with what's happening in Bahrain.